So you know we're in between these two compounds. It's a brief respite. We're just going to go for them. We'll just assess the situation. Right. We'll wait for follow-up to go. But just as we think we're safe, we start taking incoming. Don't, 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 don't. Relax, relax, hey. Calm down, calm fucking down. Friendly. The compound. The compound was far taller than it, so also called any fire mission. That was there, was it? That was there. Yeah. Jake dropping a bomb. What was thought to be enemy mortar fire was in fact a 500 pound bomb dropped from a jet on a nearby Taliban compound. British artillery is called in to finish the job. You notice the difference between me jumping and then these guys are just absolutely still when it comes in out. I cut him on 200 meters, 100 meters over there. The shot waves are coming through us. And these boys don't even fucking bat on <laughs> Officer in command, Major Nick Calder, has joined us in the compound. As the firefight was ending, we managed to get ourselves to a, a compound, and uh, it seems to have gone quiet, though. Um, the guys are betting on whether the Taliban um, have another go before uh, it gets dark. Um, in terms of what I've experienced before uh, out here, uh, that was as tough or as hard as it gets. Um, I think we're very lucky that we haven't sustained any casualties. Uh, hopefully get a chat with, the, with Nick, the OC now. Nick, can you have a chat, Mick? Yes, sir. It's all right, we'll come up to you. So, uh, it's not over yet, but you generally expect that when it goes dark that they're less likely to attack, yeah? That's correct, yeah. I mean, it's certainly our, our experience over the last few months has been... Uh, that's been the case. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we get another small uh, contact uh, just before last light, um, just to let us know that they know where we are. Right. Um, uh, and then we'll take it from there. And then, uh, obviously, I need to make a plan for what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, and hopefully we'll try and outflank those positions, leave them behind, push up north again. Um, and try and get this ICOM chat again again so we can identify where they are and, and where the bosses the are. That's correct, yeah. The commanders. Thank you, Ken. Thanks, Thanks Ross. <laughs> For me, it's been an incredible day back on the front line. But I can't help remind myself that for these men, this is part and parcel of everyday life.